feel like even if I put my voice out there, I, I don't feel like I'd actually be like truly heard. A lot of the older generation go, oh, well, if that's what they think, then that's obviously not relevant. No, you can say as much as you want, but someone would still look at you as just a younger person and say, no, like, I've, I've got this experience, I know better. Most of the people would just like want young people to just be quiet and not be involved. I don't think I have seen any venture, project, scheme, whatever for young people that's actually got anyone young involved in it at the top. People are very, very closed up and not wanting people to, the, the younger generation, ourselves, to be able to go in and make changes, so I think that's very hard for people. It's hard to get a job. It's a very limited amount of jobs. Most of your only options are going to be in hospitality and you're more than likely or not going to get paid minimum wage. Hospitality, so bar work, restaurant work and I suppose building work. Contractor, like building work and hospitality. If you've got a hundred people going for one position then you've not really got much chance. Friends of mine who tell me, you know, help me what they've studied for, they have to realistically you're going to have to move away because there's nothing here of what they want to pursue in their career. I think quite often people feel like they've got to move away to find something that they want to do for a really long time. I'm currently not employed. There's a huge lack of industry in Cornwall now and lack of interest and development of industry in Cornwall. Well, since October actually, which is quite a long time, that's six months. Working at um, a local ice cream shop in the winter, I tried to find something else to cover me over that time. And there's just, there just weren't jobs out of season in, in the town, there's just nothing. I left that job sort of September time because I didn't have enough hours, so I just focused on the seasonal work and took my chance in a sense with hoping after the seasonal work finished, I would find something or pick up something but it's not been as easy as that. There are really um, brilliant, creative, clever people here that could put a lot in. They can't find work, they have to leave. It doesn't feel like anyone's really trying to engage young people in work. They then aren't here making the jobs, they're doing them somewhere else. And then the next generation of young people, they don't then have the opportunities from that. You could have like a PhD but you might not still not be able to get a job at your local supermarket. Well, a lot of people, once you settle in a job down here, that's sort of it. People just presume that, as I've experienced, certainly, like, young people just go to the bank of mum and dad. Well, the bank of mum and dad doesn't exist for about 99% of the population in the country, especially down here. People don't actually look and go, well, actually, no, it's a lot worse than it was when I was that age. Young people down here have got, like, a lot going for them. They just haven't been given the tools to actually make something of that. Or you're just moaning because you're young and you don't know, you don't have a clue what real life is. Things that are run by committees that could potentially be really great to have some input from young people to try and get young people more interested in things. It's a retirement home. It can be quite narrow-minded and sort of not wanting to maybe that younger people then who have maybe new ideas in certain areas of their profession where they might try and go in and change things. They, they feel like, oh, you know, I didn't have that in my day, why should you have it now? It just feels like they're gradually pushing our generation to live out, out of the way, out of the centre. As far as town council goes, I don't think I've ever met someone my age who just who's even taken an interest in it. People that are making the decisions aren't aware of what's going on locally, actually what people think and feel. I just think they haven't got a lot of vision and they just care about lining their own pockets. There's definitely certain things that could be improved in the town that just you know, there's promise of it happening and then it never does. Ten cents gets forgotten. They're sort of addressing people's concerns that definitely aren't my concern. It's just lying in someone's back pocket. There's not the same focus on other issues that might be more important to people under 50. You can sort of forge into a stereotype of a middle-aged man in a sort of overgrown suit. Rather than young, fresh faces, probably people that have been doing the same job for like 20 odd years. They're just very detached from it. They don't know what's happening here or what matters to people. I don't know if the opportunities are actually there. If there are more opportunities for people to kind of train and things down here, um, people have more of an incentive to stay here, if pay was a bit better, then they might 
be able to stay here and, you know, make things happen themselves here and kind of get things regenerated. But there's not really anything. I don't think people have got the funds or the time to volunteer. There was never anything to do when I was growing up. There's still nothing to do now. And it's like, you'd, you'd have thought, like, something would get done or built or something to do. But it is extremely repetitive. The core of it's starting to fade away, really. Like, the main town, the main high street, I mean, most of the shops are shut unless you want money out the bank or a pasty, like, or a charity shop. Apart from that, you're, there's nothing there.